Good afternoon, my name is Nico House, host of the political radio show Mikasa Sukasa, and I urge you all to join our One Follow One Dollar campaign where we show the mainstream media that we no longer need them. Just join uh, the One Follow One Dollar campaign by donating one dollar to the Patreon link listed below. Um, today I wanted to talk to you all again about the Michael Bennett case and the disturbing trend I've seen in conservative media and specifically conservative YouTube where people have simply begun to pander. Don't get me wrong, I think that perspectives are very important. We shouldn't automatically jump to the conclusion that something is or isn't about race unless we have at least enough facts, uh, at least enough circumstantial evidence in order to make that determination. But once again, I think it is absolutely just as important that we do not try to downplay the importance of race when it comes to policing in this country. I think that it's important that we recognize maybe, just maybe, a 260, 270 pound black male was hiding behind a machine because cops walked in with guns pointing and ready to shoot during an active shooting situation that was later determined to not be an active shooting situation that maybe that he would fear he was probably going to be targeted simply because of how he looked. I mean, why wouldn't he? There were over 1,200 people killed last year by police officers, and not only does now he have to worry about if he's being shot because he's black, but he also has to worry about the fact that the cops are likely gonna get off on the conviction considering all 1,200 murders committed by police officers last year, none of them were convicted. So, we can first talk about the details again. Um, and this one's for Matt Christensen because Matt Christensen actually decided he wanted to leave out some important details. And I usually, I have a lot of respect for Matt Christensen. He's usually well read and well educated on the issues that he talks about. Um, but I think it's important to not pander, which is what I think that he and a lot of other uh, conservative YouTubers have been doing. They haven't educated themselves on the issue. They haven't ex educated themselves on Matt Bennett because if they knew Matt Bennett, they would know that his um, his MO in the NFL has always been um, keeping it too real. He's always been blunt. He's always been 100% honest. And he's never really been the type of person to just go out of his way to seek attention. In fact, they were joking about the concussion uh, when he and his brother were coming into their rookie year, they were joking about the concussion, saying, well, how do you feel about it? When another NFL player said, I'm going to to die and leave it all on the field, Michael Bennett was like, uh, hell no, uh, I like myself. I want to get my check and get out of here. I don't want to you know, be permanently crippled simply to play football. Um, he has several different children's organizations. He, he, I mean, he, he does it all. Like this, this guy is a humanitarian. And once again, if they would have done their research, they would have known that Michael Bennett has always had a history of being very, very blunt um, and very honest. So Michael Bennett, if you've seen the footage, Michael Bennett walks, is, is hiding behind a machine because there was a gunshot that went off and the cops walk in in, a, in a, a breach and clear. So for those of you who don't know, that means several cops are on each other back to back to back and they're pointing their guns like this. Now, once again, considering how trigger happy and untrained cops have been in the, uh, in the last few years, I think it's pretty safe to say that I would have run too if cops started pointing a gun at me because apparently we've seen that they don't actually know how to use their guns without killing someone, right? Okay, so he ran. Now, mind you, in the video, it even shows other people running and other people hiding and hiding behind each other and hiding behind machines. But Michael Bennett was singled out. It's likely because of his stature. And whenever um, the cop actually readdressed the situation in the press conference trying to say that Michael Bennett was not being racially profiled, he said, no, he wasn't being racially profiled. He was actually um, targeted because of another reason. And then the cop wouldn't even actually say why he was being target, targeted, probably because it had to do with his race. Mind you, once again, it was an active shooting. It was a lot of chaos. So it's likely they're here, okay, shooter. They have no idea what he looks like. The cops weren't in the building. And if they did have some idea what, they look, what he looked like, they wouldn't even tell us why they targeted Mark, Michael Bennett. And we're just supposed to take the cops' word for it. But Matt Christensen kind of glazes over that. He's like, oh, it could just be an example of police brutality, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to do with race. That's seriously downplaying the, the realities of race in this country, Matt. It's a little disgusting because you're clearly pandering to your audience. Now, you go on to say that, oh, yeah, we, he, he uh, didn't have a gun pointed at his head, but you should have waited because, first of all, the cop didn't have his personal body camera on, which is already strike one. It's kind of crazy how that always seems to happen in these cases. But that's already strike one. 
Um, but the 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 situation, the the, the film is about that situation. More film got released yesterday, and actually, I'm going to post a link below. Uh, Tim Black actually put it on his channel, um, where the cop clearly had his gun like this pointed at Michael Bennett's head. Like I said, Michael Bennett is not the type of person that has to lie about anything. And it's crazy how almost everyone else always has their body cam footage on. But the one with the gun pointing at the black guy's head never seems to have it on. And there's likely not going to be any punitive action due to that fact. Even though it could have very easily helped us solve this situation. Now, if you're curious as to why many of us, including Michael Bennett, Colin Kaepernick and others, think that it may have probably have been in black issue well because there weren't any white people tackled to the ground not according to the police officer <clears throat> and not according to the reports that we've seen no one else was arrested no one else was heckled he wouldn't even give us the reason why he targeted michael bennett even though he had a clear opportunity to exonerate himself saying the guy fit this exact description he had a beard he had this type of hair he was wearing this type of outfit or these type of colors he could have said anything but he didn't and there's a reason for that the reason is is because it probably had to do with the, it was a, it's a six foot three black gentleman that is not enough that's not enough they had a gun point at this guy we know the history of police officers just saying it's a six foot three six foot four black gentleman is not enough to go send cops in a SWAT formation after a black guy and then say oh we chased him down and arrested him because he was hiding that is not a misdemeanor. That is not a felony. It is not illegal or against the law to hide. There were plenty of people running. Plenty of people running. But they arrested Michael Bennett. But it goes deeper than that. See, once again, you like the, the people like to talk about the race issue without giving context to the situation. Now, proportionally, right? Black on black crime is a, is a huge issue in the country. Actually, it's actually not as much of an issue. And they always say, well, what about black on black crime? Actually, black on black crime has decreased substantially over the last five years. Why? Because we have big brother clubs, because we have recreational centers. We've actually been doing a lot to help deter black on black crime in this country. But black on black crime has the same thing to do with the black on black crime is stemmed from the same issue as white on white crime. In case you didn't know, it's poverty. And there have been people actively working, considering we know right now the FBI said that the KKK has infiltrated authorities and they've infiltrated po political realms. I mean, I shouldn't even have to tell you that, but they've also infiltrated political realms where they have passed laws specifically to hold black people back or minorities back or, or, or Latinos back. This is a fact. So, yeah, black on black crime isn't exactly where we want it to be at, but neither is white on white crime. And actually, proportionally, black on black crime and white on white crime is almost at the exact same rate. Oh, can you imagine? And even overall, if you're going to talk about the overall crime rate, right? Proportionally, almost at the exact same rate. Now, we can talk about how white people occupy a greater portion of the country and they therefore commit much more, many more crimes. Rape, murder. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Because we can talk about the percentages. But overall, just because whites make up a, a larger majority of the country, they commit more crimes. So why aren't they viewed in the same negative light as most racist white people view black people? Well, it's a combination of a few things. It's a combination of Hollywood. It's a combination of institutional racism and systematic racism. The fact that we only got rid of Jim Crow about 40 or 50 years ago. There's a lot of different reasons why. I mean, we're going to pretend like a cop, which is funny because you didn't do a video on this. A cop literally told a white lady, you don't have to worry about, this was in Georgia, you don't have to worry about being shot, we only shoot black people. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why, maybe that's why Michael Bennett was a little, uh, a little uneasy about having guns pointed at him by trigger happy police officers. But what makes that statistic about the fact that proportionally white and black people commit almost the exact same amount of crimes, proportionally once again. White people commit more, but they're not viewed in a, a, a more negative light. Mind you, those white people commit more crimes than most of them are even around black people. So where are they getting their image of black people from? From television, from Hollywood, because we've always been we've always been uh, uh, displayed in that light when it comes to Hollywood. OK, in case you didn't know. So. Same amount of crimes, but who occupies more of the uh, 
the, the prison population in this country. I believe we occupy about 90% of the prison population, even despite the fact that we commit just about the same amount of crimes. In fact, white people commit more, and not pr proportionally more, but li literally more crimes. So why exactly are they not 90% of the prison population? That would make perfect sense, right? But once again, Matt Christensen doesn't do a video about this. Conservative YouTubers won't do a video about these facts. It's always convenient when you have a story like the one Michael ben with Michael Bennett to s automatically say, we know for a fact it's not race baiting. Or we know for a fact he's just race baiting. We know this for a fact. He should have to prove himself that this is actually a, race a racialized incident. I mean, given what we know contextually about the history of police officers and black people in this country, given what we know about Michael Bennett, if you had done your actual research, instead of just spouting off out the mouth, because I just happen to be a sports fan as much as I am a political fan. I know about Michael Bennett. I know about what he's done for this country. I know about Colin Kaepernick. And you're talking about he, he's just looking for attention. Colin Kaepernick donated 100% of his jersey sales to charity. He has multiple charities, not only in this country, but across the world. He's done more for civil rights and social rights in all of these countries. Literally, because it's multiple countries than most of these conservatives have ever. Even with the threat of the threat looming over his head that he may not have a job, he's still giving his money out because he isn't materialistic. And you're claiming he's he's an attention whore. He hasn't said anything this entire time where he could be calling out people, which I would be doing. I actually commend him for saying silent. He could be calling out people about why they're not signing him, but he hasn't said a word. Because he's not seeking attention. And if you recall, the moment he stood, the moment he sat down the first game in the preseason, when he sat down during the national anthem, he didn't ask for attention. Y'all did. The media did. They asked him a bunch of questions about why he sat down. He wasn't concerned about them. He didn't want a bunch of people watching them. He said, I don't like what's happening in this country. And the world blew up. They won't even say the issue he's protesting because blue brutality in black communities is a legitimate thing. This is a fact. 90%, over 90% of the prison population, but white people commit more crimes. So if white people are committing more crimes, on top of the fact that police departments are being found hiding uh, actual crime that are being committed, especially against minorities, happened out in Florida. A police department got completely and totally disbanded because they were lying about the crimes they were committing. 1,200 is, a, is this the number that's reported to us. It's likely thousands more as far as police, co police killings. Mind you, people think that every day they go out and they're, they're, they're always a, there's always a threat to their life and police are rarely, if ever, killed in action. And if they, going, like in 2012, which is the most recent statistic we have, it was something like 12 cops total were killed in a traffic stop and they weren't routine traffic stops they were pulling people over and they knew that there was a chance that this person had a felony a violent felony etc etc so it wasn't even like randomness okay you didn't pull somebody over for a tail light and then bop, 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 like out of nowhere that's not how it works a person who has a, a, a warrant out for a felony isn't going to ride around with a broken tail light it's just stupid anyway Stop that. It's extremely dangerous trying to pander to your audience simply to get views. And it's disgusting. If you want to have a real conversation about race and race baiting and race and politics and race in America, how about actually inviting a minority onto your show? Which seemingly almost every conservative YouTuber I know except for Hard Bastard, who is actually I consider a friend of mine, refuses to have a minority on their show. And even Hard Bastard, as conservative he is, says, yeah, I mean, Colin Kaepernick is getting blackballed because of his protests. To pretend otherwise is sim it's simple-minded. We can say it maybe not may not be 100% because you also have to worry about the dynamics of a football team, but at least 80% of that is because of his protests. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I would love to know your thoughts about this. I'll leave your I'll leave your thoughts and your comments in below and like subscribe and just, and uh, turn on your notifications and always remember ladies and gentlemen find your balance peace